Today, Team Euroluna will give you a short update on our thinkings, how to fulfill the payload requirements uh, for the Google Luna X Prize. And as I mentioned in one of my old videos, we have a, a CubeSat solution, and it is four modules of a CubeSat 10 by 10 by 10 centimeter. And uh, I have uh, made uh, some um, simple models of this, and I want to explain to you what we're going to do. Um, we will have a four module. I only have um, a two module um, propulsion module that will consist of three modules and we'll have a lander module. And the lander module will be on the moon surface. We will have some um, wheels which will be uh, blown up before landing on the moon. And our idea is to have Romit 1 on the surface and some um, wheels, two wheels with gas inside. Then for the payload, it will be inside the uh, module of the CubeSat. But for uh, communication, we will need a solar panel on the top. So when the sun is shining in, we have radio communication and um, we can get the motors to drive on the moon surface. The idea is to um, put the whatever is requested on the side of the modules. It could, for instance, be Google Luna X Prize up and down. And of course, also, um, I think it would be useful to have uh, the winning team on the um, on this label. So we could put it whatever way is requested. And um, that will give a space about 10 by 10 centimeters. Then, of course, on the other side, we could have another one with um, depending on what size would be requested. Um, and we could also put one of our um, sponsors, maybe the wine producer Lampert's Wine, on it. It's a marvelous uh, Pinot Noir. I can recommend it. Um, and that could be put on the other side. And you would have in that way, if I get the other one, would get some space and also give us the possibility of having the solar panel to produce power for the uh, competition on the moon surface. I think that's enough for this time. I wish you a nice day.